how to attract black soldier fry from the wild to get eggs and start your black soldier fry farm i've been receiving messages from some parts of the world nigeria kenya asking me to send them eggs and start their black soldier fry farms but it may be expensive from uganda to send you the eggs to nigeria or kenya but i'm going to show you how you can attract black soldier fry and get eggs from the world population if you're new to this channel consider subscribing like or share stick around My name is Katerega, the son of the street vendor. Uh, very passionate about agriculture, black soldier fry farming, and preserving the environment. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Green Eco Operatives. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you attract black soldier fry from the wild population and get eggs, start your black soldier fry farm. Well, there are two options. One is the one I have mentioned. Two is uh, to get from your local breeders around. Uh, the black soldier flies are now present in, in almost parts of the world. You need the following items. You need attractant. You need eggies. I'm talking about eggies, not eggs. Eggies is E double G I E S. Eggies. Then a bucket where you're going to place your attractant and the eggies. Then let's look at each of these items as we prepare our attractant. Well, uh, this is what we call the egg. Egg. Egg, it's a medium. It can be either a paper, paper box, or a wood media. So for my case, for our case, we are using a wood media. A wood media, this wood media has got um, uh, cavities in between, cavities in between where the black, female black soldier fly comes and lay its egg. So you see these cavity, cavities here? This is where the female black soldier fly comes and lay its eggs here. Then you collect, you start your black soldier fly farm. So, this is one of the items. Another one is the attractant. The attractant is a, it's a smelly liquid substance that attracts the female black soldier fly to come and lay nearby. So, uh, from my experience, I've got, uh, I've known two attractants which are best at uh, attracting the black soldier female, female fry. Um, I would advise you to use fruits, fruits such as banana or pineapple. Pineapple provides after ferment, fermentation, it provides that smell which attracts the, the fry. So, for our case, we are going to use uh, the, the banana here. We have our banana. Our bucket. Uh, don't mind, you can have your gloves, use them. But at my side, I'm fine with this. So you get your banana. You may use a we, you may use a knife, fun card. But uh, for us in Africa here, actually we used to make um, a juice out of this banana. So this is the process, one of the first process we could do. This one. We could use our hands. I grew up from the village, so we could use hands. Make juice, make juice, banana juice. So now, 
you prepare your attractant and don't mind you can use the other thing if you have pineapple pineapple is also good So this is how we used to make juice, banana juice, <laughs> like this. So I said it's okay, you can use your gloves to make this, but we used to make juice like this in the village. So now we, can, we shall prepare our attractant. This is the attractant. like this uh, well I wouldn't advise you to use um, uh, unpleasant attractant such as hoffos chicken hoffos you rain your day they smell a lot but uh, this the fruit it's fine it's fine Maybe if you're okay with uh, with the chicken hoffos, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> honestly, I, I I wouldn't want to rain my day with the smell thing. So this is fine. So now you get your eggs. I said this is where the female fries will lay its egg, and you place it on top like this. Uh, like this, like this. The importance of this substrate also is uh, the black soldier fry by nature. Uh, its instinct tells it that it needs to lay where its larvae will find uh, what to eat. Okay. And also the reason why um, it lays in between these cavities because uh, it feels that it's safer to lay in between these cavities uh, to protect its eggs from the predators, the insects. So uh, you need to provide all these items in place for you to be successful with uh, attracting the black soldier fly from the wild. Okay. So if you happen to fail to get eggs at the end of the process, there may have happened two things. One, uh, the population of the black soldier fly in your area may have been low, might be low. So uh, you may need to find another place or buy from the local breeders. Okay. Then another thing is maybe your attractant wasn't smelled all that good to attract the black soldier fly. So. Uh, you need to find, um, uh, you need to improve on your attractant. You can actually even combine the banana and also the pineapple. It's very good. After fermentation, they bring that smelly, smelly scent that can attract the black soldier fry and lay here. So we shall leave this uh, for about three weeks so that uh, the fries after fermentation about five days uh, it will create that smell and the fly will come to lay its eggs then uh, the fly when the fly comes to lay its eggs also it will take about four, four to five days for the eggs to hatch so the eggs after hatching they will find this substrate inside here and they will feed on this substrate well the advantage of uh, attracting the black soldier fly from the wild population is that um, uh, uh, it gives you a chance, uh, a chance to do it by yourself from the beginning. Well, as buying from the local breed breeders, uh, it helps you to forego this hassle of 
you know, looking for the for the fly. And also, if you're starting a bigger farm, uh, you may get uh, many eggs from the breeder. So it is it's faster faster than collecting the from the wild. Uh, we shall take this attractant to where there is no direct sun. Uh, yes, the fly likes uh, hot temperatures, but uh, don't put this. Uh, we don't want our eggs to get dry, and also the the uh, the substrate. We don't want the substrate to get dry. So don't put it under direct sunlight. Put it under uh, shaded place. So uh, we shall take this to a shaded place. Then we wait for three, for three weeks. We shall come back and check on our substrate for uh, every after at least five days. Okay? Uh, uh, please, my name is Katerega, the son of the street vendor. Uh, consider to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Like, share, and if you have any comment, please put it under the, sec under the comment section. So we are going to pre press our substrate here. Where we feel it is safe and it is a shaded environment, so we shall check on it every after five days. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Best wishes. Bye bye.